here's a quick round of updates that we just released that I think you're going to really like. And hey, next week we're releasing something pretty cool that I think many of you may find interesting. So be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. Let's jump over to Thrive Architect really quick because there are a couple of different things that I want to show you. You see, Google is making it harder and harder for small business owners to make use of reCAPTCHA. Thus, we've made it easier than ever to connect Thrive Architect forms to Cloudflare's turnstile. But we didn't stop there. Uh, we're also releasing our very own native Honeypot spam prevention system. And here's how it works. By enabling our Honeypot feature, all of your forms will include a field that is completely hidden to real users visiting your website. However, this hidden field will not be hidden to bots that may be crawling your site looking to submit your forms. This means that all form submissions containing data in such hidden field that shouldn't technically speaking have been filled out by real people will not get processed and will simply be ignored. This is a great way to make sure that, you know, nasty bots can't get inside your email list or submit any of your contact forms. Forms are also getting one more highly requested feature. You can now make use of a custom number field on all of your forms. Uh, you can customize the range that you're allowing users to enter in this field, the number of decimal places you wish to show, uh, which can actually come in handy when you're working with currencies or um, other metrics. And if you set this decimal to zero, you can even customize by how many steps you want the number field to go up and down when users are entering their details. The next thing that I want to bring to your attention is pretty big in my book, and it concerns all Thrive Apprentice users who are charging for their Thrive Apprentice products with Stripe. You see, we're officially rolling out what we're calling the customer portal. Now, if you already had your Thrive Apprentice products connected to Stripe prior to watching this video, you're going to want to head over to the backend settings and enable this functionality. This feature will be enabled by default for all new users, but what is this feature exactly? Well, this feature allows you to insert dynamic links on buttons or even text elements in Thrive Architect uh, that connect to a Stripe page where users can manage their payment and profile details with your business. They can cancel or renew their subscriptions, add new credit card details, modify their billing information, and see a list of all of their past invoices. Really cool stuff. And before I let you go really quick, if you're an online course creator, we've also added a small but really nifty feature inside Thrive Apprentice. If you're using assessments to evaluate how your students are performing, you now have even more control around when to give your students credit towards course completion. Up until now, when someone completed an, an assessment, by default, that assessment would count towards credit on their course. But now you have the option to only let users receive credit towards completion if they actually pass the assessment or you also have the option to hand them credit whether you know they pass or fail the assessment. If you liked this round of updates, let me know by using the thumbs up button below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you soon. Bye.